Each rolling wave has a story to tell, a story as rich as the treasures that once lined the floors of the Atlantic, a story that can only be told here. This is our story. Known for its pristine beaches and breathtaking atmosphere, the Crystal Coast of North Carolina remains one of the most untouched and culturally intact coastlines in America. The communities of the Crystal Coast are widely considered by many to be among the most relaxed and simplified lifestyles to residents and visitors alike. Fishing, food, and fun are just a few of the influences that bring so many people to the coast from year to year. Our story takes us to a waterfront community located less than 30 miles east of Beaufort, North Carolina, known as Sea Level. There you'll find, resting on the beautiful waters of Nelson Bay, a peaceful retirement community known as Snug Harbor. Once rich in mariner history and tradition, Snug Harbor offers a unique way of life that preserves the residents' independence and individuality. Snug Harbor is a 110,000 square foot facility that was located in down East Carteret County in 1976 as a result of the second oldest charitable trust in the U.S. desiring to relocate where it took care of merchant seamen. They built this facility out of the brick that built all the, the buildings at Harvard University. It's slate roofs, concrete roof decking, steel trusses, so it's incredibly well built. The physical plant is beautifully situated on, on a piece of property that's about 82 acres, and the, the building itself is impressive. However, it's not the building so much that makes Snug Harbor special. It is unusual, it is unique. It started out that way being all merchant seamen, and many of the merchant seamen were from places other than the United States. So it had a different sort of flavor and feel from the outset. But because it is unique, because the building is unique, because the residents are unique, we're seeing people coming in from all walks of life. School teachers, nurses, business people. We've had a White House staffer here. It's been an interesting mix. It makes for a fascinating group of people. These people converse with one another about their pasts, about the activities in which they were engaged, and it just makes for an interesting setting all the way around. It is the only five-star facility, five-star rating awarded by the federal government in this region, highlighted by U.S. News and World Report, and those scores are awarded based on cleanliness and level of staffing and activities and, and a number of other factors. We're very proud of that. That means that uh, according to the federal government, we're as good as it gets. We're the top 10% in the nation. The staff has enjoyed the process of being part of something special and something different, I think. I think everyone likes to be proud of what they're associated with. and. And I like to think that all those associated with Snow Harbor on Nelson Bay believe that this is a special place to take care of special people. Our beauty, however, goes beyond the serene setting to include incomparable accommodations, amenities, and healthcare services. We have five different levels of care. We have independent living. We have uh, two levels in assisted living, both medical as well as residential assisted living. We have our um, secured dementia unit, which is the Cove. We have our private health care center, and we also have rehab. Our residents that come in under residential living, oftentimes they are very independent, but simply tired of the maintenance of a house, of having to deal with buying groceries, of having to get back and forth to doctor's appointments on their own, and just the overall day-to-day -day routine is, becomes a little overwhelming, and they'd like to take it easy. So they can come into a residential living and not have to worry about lawn care or grocery shopping, all that can be provided here. Residents either have a one-room apartment or a two-room apartment with a separate kitchenette and living room. All the rooms have a private bathroom and a patio outside the rooms. Residents are free to come and go as they choose. They do have three meals a day provided here, as well as a wide variety of recreational activities and health care provided on site as needed. In assisted living, a resident who may be at home who may find it more difficult to stay in the home, maybe for physical reasons, we have staff on 24 hours a day. Those are certified nursing assistants that have gone on to receive training in medical technicians. 
In the Cove, we do a very home-like setting. We try to only have things that you have in your own home. The residents there have their own living room with a fireplace. They have their own kitchenette. They eat together as a family at a table. There's a sun porch there as well as an enclosed courtyard. For the residents that come in for a short-term rehab, knowing that you're able to assist them and get them back into their homes and back into their regular lifestyle, that is wonderful for our residents who are here on a long-term basis. Um, knowing that you can bring some quality of life to what may have been a life where they may have stayed at home and been lonesome and maybe not got proper care, you know that you were giving them proper care. We had a resident several years ago who said if he had known how good it was going to be, he would have simply asked to be born here. It doesn't get any better than that. The staff strives to provide opportunities that will stimulate and add meaning to the residents' lives. We're very blessed here because we have very low turnover in our staff. It gives the staff the opportunity to spend time with the residents and get to know the residents and become very family oriented with the residents. Some of our residents have family that just live down the street, but some of our residents have family that are all over the country. And that makes our role as staff a little bit more important. A lot of the residents that I get in assisted living have actually started out in skilled care. They were here for Med-A services which came in for rehab therapy. They're just not quite where they need to be to go home alone. We get them over here and they're still kind of you know on the edge but they form friendships and bonds and with the staff they're just like family. Um, we get very involved with with the resident and with their family. Very um, Families have been wonderful here. We have a lot that are in and out um, on a weekly basis, um, usually call daily. Um, and the staff, if you ask them, they'll say they feel like our family. It's like your grandma or your grandfather here. Staffing interaction with residents is an ongoing process. Not only do they have to interact with the residents, but they have a tremendous amount of interaction with the family members. And that's very important. And we have to maintain a very positive, very professional approach when we're interacting with the residents and the family members. It takes special people to work in this type of environment. It's a wonderful place to work and it's very special and very unique and we're, we're very proud of our facility and when we leave here we go home with a special feeling in our heart that we have done something good for these residents. And in turn they have special ways of showing their appreciation. It might be a little smile on their face or it may be that they can actually tell us thank you. Although Snug Harbor on Nelson Bay was once a home just for retired merchant marine sailors, our residents' interests go beyond ships and sea. Snug Harbor's recreational staff plans and coordinates social and recreational activities. Our full slate of activities can keep even the most restless of residents occupied throughout the day. Snug Harbor is one in a million. Uh, there's no other place like it. Every resident has all these different personalities and characteristics and the activities are individualized for each resident. It helps their social interaction, helps lift their spirits. We do activities that's very calming and can decrease blood pressure, help with stress. Every week we have happy hour on Fridays. We have hors d'oeuvres and cocktails. We have a pianist that comes. We do sing-alongs with our pianists and it's one of their favorites. We have a beautiful area outside, a nice walking path around the whole building. And one of our newest additions to Snug Harbor is our therapy dog named Petey. You could tell the difference that this small dog was making in their day. And the more I thought about Petey coming to work, I was looking into having him become certified as a therapy dog for our facility here at Snug Harbor and got in touch with the right people and now Petey is in training to be a certified therapy dog. The increased demand for healthcare services has brought many changes and new additions to an already growing facility. We're constantly looking for opportunity to expand what we do so we can serve the community better. We've done that by increasing the number of beds that we have available to provide rehab services. We have great physical and occupational therapy services on site. And so people can come here for short stays following hospitalization for any number of, of reasons 
to do rehab, to strengthen or to, to get to the situation where they can get back home. We've also added a, a dementia unit, a special care unit, and the demand for that is exceeding supply. We would really like to be able to provide more of that sort of service. If you find that you have a need for long-term care, difficult decision, uh, difficult process to go through, We'll do everything we can to make it as painless as possible, but if you are considering that, come see us. Let us talk with you. Um, let us show you how it can be. For a relaxed coastal community that is both far away from the hustle and bustle of larger cities, yet within easy reach of Moorhead City and Beaufort, and close to the beach communities of Atlantic Beach, Pine Knoll Shores, and Emerald Isle, North Carolina, you won't find a more appealing locale than sea level. Be a part of our story. Snug Harbor on Nelson Bay. To plan a visit, contact us at 252-225-4411.